Hey guys, it's me Curry Zutine. Uh, this is just um, a quick um, video on my touch-up routine. So um, these are just a few suggestions that I do um, on how. This is just what I do when I touch up my makeup. Um, uh, I have my, I've been wearing my makeup on. Let's see how long have I had this on? For about two or three hours now, and it still looks okay. Um, yeah, it still looks good. I just took off my lipstick because um, what I touch up with is going to be part of this tutorial. I don't know if you guys actually care, but this kind of touch up will make you look younger, make you feel better. Will be um, you won't get the cakey look, um, and yeah. So, anyways, um, I just took off my lipstick because I had the nasty L'Oreal Infallible Lip Color on me. So now I'm going to wear my Breast Cancer Awareness um, Fiend Lipstick in Candy from Estee Lauder. So when I touch up my makeup, I always touch up my lipstick. I always bring a lipstick or lip gloss with me. It's just something that I always, always touch up. And I always have a mirror. In this case, I have my, um, my CoverGirl mirror. So, you know, keep whatever mirror you have in your purse. You can bring a touch up powder, um, a translucent powder, a bronzer, whatever mirror you have, that's fine. Even those cute jeweled mirrors that don't have any makeup inside are actually good for the kind of girl I am because I don't really touch up my foundation or my powder when I'm touching up. So anyways, we're going to touch up the lipstick. Um, I like to really put it on so, so that way I don't have to touch it up. I don't really touch up my lipstick uh, more than twice a day I, I go to I put it on you know right before work and then during lunch because most of the time the oils from the lunch break down the lip color anyways so whether you have a long-lasting lipstick or not um, when you eat especially if you eat like salmon or something greasy the oils in the food will break down the color FYI so now we're putting my lipstick on and so my lipstick is on. This is on um, my Lord, my on uh, L'Oreal Estee Lauder um, Breast Cancer Awareness Lipstick. I was at the counter um, at Estee Lauder at Nordstrom the other day, and I got a phone call from my Estee Lauder girl, and she um, I saw this at the counter. So I got this lipstick from my gift with purchase a while back, and it's kind of cool because this is the featured color for Breast Cancer Awareness Month which is now October um, so it's kind of cool um, it's a little bit on the metallic side it's super creamy but metallic lipstick kind of makes my lips look like they're a little dry and little fine lines start coming out so I have to wear a little bit of gloss this is my pink gloss from Lancome Juicy Tubes and the color is called Miracle so I just like to put a tiny bit of gloss so I always always touch up my lipstick it's like one of my must-haves. So we're gonna do that. Next thing I have, and I always have in every purse, I either have a sample of eye cream or an eye cream. I bring my eye cream with me everywhere I go. It's always, I always, always, always have eye cream in my purse. So the eye cream that I'm using right now is the L'Oreal Paris um, Revital Lift. Um, so what I do is um, just always make sure your hands are clean so I always try to touch up in the bathroom and wash my hands really good or I bring hand sanitizer in my purse if I'm touching up like on the road or somewhere so you're just gonna get a tiny bit of eye cream it kind of like to get that much and this is good for both eyes this amount so you want to get that and it's crazy even if I have um, like a lot of eye makeup on I still touch up my eye cream because after a few hours, if you drink a lot of coffee or if you're inside air-conditioned rooms, chances are it's going to look a little dry here throughout the day. Um, not right away, but during later half midday. So you want to just kind of touch up and just give your eyes a little drink of water. Um, and that's what I do. Um, and it doesn't mess up my makeup. I've never really had any issues of it messing up my makeup. I like to concentrate the eye cream on this side, the outer corner here, so I just lightly pat it with 
my ring finger and I do it on the other side and it doesn't mess up my makeup like it's weird after a few like after four or five hours your eyes really thank you for doing this you can even put some here if you get any um, dryness or if your expression lines are starting to look a little crazy so that's what I do so I kind of just like let my eyes just feel really nice and relax and I kind of give it a little massage um, and my eye makeup never gets messed up it's weird and I think it's because of my eyeshadow primer and then last step I always 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 have this in my purse it's the love of my life right now it's the most best thing makeup artists makeup companies has ever created and I found a dupe formula for the MAC Fix Plus spray and this is the e.l.f. makeup mist and setting spray which has aloe, green tea, cucumber, vitamins A and C and E and what I do is so I have my lipstick on, I have my eye cream on, my eye cream is already sinking in I can feel it and it feels amazing it's a little pick me up especially if you're tired if you drink a lot of coffee you know if you get that mid day kind of drag you know put some eye cream on it'll awaken your eyes and then set your makeup all over again without having to put powder because if you keep touching up with powder chances are you're going to look really cakey and you're going to look really chalky and you're going to look really old it's just going to dull out your complexion so spray i like to concentrate on the, right here by the eyes because that's the driest parts of the face and just kind of enjoy how it feels and it'll dry in about 90 seconds and so face will look wet but your eyeshadow will re be retouched your blush will come out more and your foundation will look good um, I work in an area where you know the temperatures are either really hot or really cold and um, what was I gonna say and I'm always in air-conditioned um, places and I drive, I commute a lot so you know the skin takes a toll makeup also takes a toll on your skin so it's so good to have this have eye cream if you are in your late 20s start up, touching up with eye cream or a concealer with a very hydrating ingredient and then your lip makeups so anyways guys, that's it. It's super simple. Oh, and a mirror. You need a mirror. Um, it's super simple to touch up your makeup and look amazing and younger and fresher and more awake. And that's the only way I do it. So anyways guys, have a lovely day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please, not tutorial, but video. Um, I hope you guys um, subscribe. Um, please stay uh, tuned for more videos to come. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.